Hello fellow engineers! Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars adventure in Space Engineers. How are you all doing? I am doing fantastic. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I noticed this ladder here. You can't quite see it, but it's this one here. So we have to go up there and explore. Uh, I haven't gone up there yet. I've been itching and it's actually a bit earlier in the week for me. So, so I figured to do an episode, just get it done and see what happens. I'm going to take a beverage here. I'm gonna take a Clang Cola. So I think that doesn't do Oh no, it still does 100%. Okay, it does 40 at least. Okay, so uh, any kind of food I can eat. I wish it told you how much these chips are going to replenish, but but it doesn't tell you. So we have the welder. Now we just need some more tools. Um, please, please. Uh, hopefully there'll be tools up there. So I'm just going to double check these crates again, just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Up we go. I'm going to have to change the skin since it's now November. So Halloween is over. But the mods, ooh, this is a cool looking office. It's an office that you can kind of come into. That's kind of cool. There's a, a toilet here, of course, of course. This is probably ventilation stuff down here, I'm assuming. And uh, okay, bed, let's see. Oh, look at that, it's nice. 9,000, we'll have to deposit that, please. Oh, <laughs> yay. So you know what, folks? Guess what? The hand drill, we are gonna go back to the drop pod now. That that makes your decision a lot quicker. This is is this a timer block? Oh yeah, it's a timer block. What an interesting way to incorporate it as part of the decoration. I'm getting sidetracked there, but yeah, but I think now the play would be to go back to the respawn pod. And yeah, so which means I'm gonna go back to that other station. We're gonna bookmark this station so we have it. It should always be here because we should always be able to see it. But you know, eventually you don't see the beacons anymore because you get too far away. And yeah, so let's carry on. Oh, I'm so thankful. I'm so glad that we have that. Amazing. <laughs> so the luck. Luck has been with us, and that's what I was hoping for. This whole possibility of finding stuff, right? Let's see here. Let's let's add these to our hot bar. Uh, character tools. So at least we have a decent welder. We don't have to upgrade this for a while, uh, but we have a hand drill, which means we can get stone. Uh, we can get ice, and so all we need to do now is repair that that friggin' thing. The survival kit is still operational, so it's a matter of throwing dirt in there getting some materials and building some stuff. You know that this stuff is at a reduced rate as well uh, on this uh, server, so or this server, this game mode. I shouldn't say server, but it's kind of like a server. Um, and the hand drill. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, that's the skin I have for it. And then the welder, that's the, I think it's the skin from the uh, the pack, the 10 year anniversary pack. So yeah, let's let's carry on, let's carry on. This is This is beautiful. We got some weapons here. We have a, a flare gun that we can experiment with. Um, I should close my helmet. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's a freighter. I'm going to ignore that for now. Okay, so let's GPS this place just so we have it. Slash GPS. Um, Soma Beacon. Just what it's called and let's let's do like the same purpley color uh, let's see here same purpley color do that and is this is it this way or this way it's this way i think there we go uh, a little more purple so we got the beacon and then this is that station that we're going to go to. So we're actually going to turn these off from the HUD. That's where we want to go. And yeah, let's let's get cracking here. Okay. Let's get reorientated. Where is it? Down here. Okay. Right, because we got to jump the planet. we got to jump over the moon or whatever. That's essentially what's going to happen. Dampeners are off. I take a run for it. Let's do no hands. And let's do this. Whoa! Yeah, okay. And I think we're in the gr we're in something. So I just need to dampers are on again. I don't know why they turned on. So it sucks. So we wasted some fuel. That's okay. Okay. And then just like this. So that's it, folks. I will meet you on the other side of this. Enjoy.
Hello, hello. Welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit. Here we are. We're coming up. Last few seconds. We're coming in hot. So we're going to throw the dampeners on soon. Here we go. Kind of doing the C, which is down. I think down. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's going to turn dampeners on. So that was a really good run. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay, dampers off. On. X. Oh, that was a hard landing, but that's okay. We made it. The fuel, that uh, that was pretty good run, actually. Pretty good. 70 still, so we have a good quantity. Dang. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to double check this, this place. I wanted to see um, what they had in the shop. I couldn't. Ah, it took my helmet off too soon. Um, I didn't. I kind of want to see what's in the shop. Uh, so how much food is there? Six apples. Epic welder. Okay. Or sorry, elite welder. <laughs> I read that as epic. That's funny. Uh, med kits. That's how I can heal. And usually you find these med kits, but let's actually buy one two okay let's buy one two three just because i know we need it so at least we can always buy food by coming up here we can always buy drinks we have that kind of stuff we do uh, let's see if we go into our inventory we do have lots of money from selling those those resources oh, i do a med kit because i wanted to heal myself um, i don't have healing turned on because of the food stuff because uh, i want that to be a mechanic um, Okay, let's let's recharge up our suit. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just want to kind of see if there's loots again. Uh, is there anything in here? No, I don't think there will be. I don't think it's respawned with anything because <laughs> we just looted it technically. <laughs> it hasn't been very long in the game at all. Um, yeah. Okay. So, anyways, that is all I wanted to see. Just to see. <clears throat> what was in that vending machine? I don't think the other machine will have anything different. This is a dispenser, which is pretty cool. A vending machine. Did we explore this? I think we did. I'm just seeing if there's any loot boxes like in that other station, but there's this one's more. Um, san what, what is this? Air vent. Oh, so it's just like a, interesting. It's more sanitized. Oh, yeah, you can't go in there. It's like a sanitized version of a station here we go this is what i wanted all right price per unit so it's easier to see uh yeah okay and then it gets into the the ships right and the smallest kind of ships are in like this these millions range so i think we're going to build our own because it's more fun i don't like using these pre-canned ones um, it's interesting they have these in here this is part of that whole economy mod and stuff that there that exists i of course have all the deal or sorry not mod uh, dlc the economy dlc uh, i have all these these you know dlcs that i've i've purchased over the years um, i've just never played with them it's been quite a while you know, you know as i said last time was in what 2014 like in episode zero i mentioned that uh, and so i'm kind of like a noob at this all over again I do understand a lot of the mechanics, but then there's some of the new stuff, right? Like the the automations and and that stuff. I, I kind of want to try and learn um, from what I. Storm inbound. Ooh, meteor storm inbound. Nice. Now, these shouldn't happen too often, um, but I guess we'll see. It might have been long enough. Um, I think they're running about 20 minutes, so that's about right. It pushes them from 15 minutes to, I think, was it 20 to 28 minutes? Or I don't know what the mod, the sensible the Meteor Storms mod does exactly, but there's a range that it, it pushes it a little bit longer because I didn't like how often that they were coming in vanilla or with everything just, yeah, vanilla. And, and therefore I wanted them a little bit longer just because if we're going to be building stuff, doing all of that, uh, I don't really want to kind of, I want the meteors there so it, it deposits resources when it hits the planet, 
but then I don't want it to always happen because then it can each each time that it happens there's a chance for it to hit your base obviously and, and I've seen it where it's hit the base and with this kind of hardcore mode the base will be harder to build it's gonna be a lot more resources to pump into it and it's and and because I have the off scrap mode uh, that is gonna cause everything that I grind down is gonna be a scrap which then you have to put into the refinery and then it processes it into the relevant materials with a discount right i think the initial one is like 25 percent of the resources you'll get back so there's there's kind of like an economy that way i've, I've introduced for the resources which is kind of cool I, I didn't like how you could just grind something down and then boom plunk it into something it makes sense in the general sense of space engineers but it, then it doesn't oh what the heck why is there there you go <laughs> uh, about zero dollars <laughs> I, I love that. That's that's amazing. Amazing when there's fractionals in this game. And let me deposit a whole credit. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, where are we? Where is the exit? All right. Uh, I'm lost now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the exit. Yeah, so there we go. So the next play now here is to go to that respawn pod and to kind of see what the sit rep is down there and yeah we're all charged up we got food food let's uh let's eat one of these bad boys okay perfect and yeah let us let us go on down onto the surface now that's going to take a lot of fuel well sort of sort of you'll see why we're going to be quite uh, aggressive um, with it so let's see where's the respawn pod okay four kilometers we're almost there we're almost back ah oh, this is cool <laughs> i've had so much fun now i don't want the dampeners don't turn them on maybe because i'm falling and so because I don't want to fall so we're on the on the one side of the ice lake here i'm hoping this is an ice lake so we're gonna it's gonna push it down here Let's see, uh, can I do the C? Yeah, I can. That's the upwards jets, basically. Yeah, okay, here we go. And when we get close, I will hopefully our jetpack will stop us. That's the gamble here. And I don't know if I left the survival kit on. So that is going to be another thing. So I'm just going to start burning. I'm going to actually probably yeah, we're almost there. It's cool. I'm going to turn on the dampeners, turn off the dampeners. That's actually a pretty good method. Turn on the dampeners, turn off the dampeners. Turn on the dampeners. X. X. Oh, yeah, that's still far. I'm going to push forward. Uh, X. X. Boom. Okay. Yay. We're on the surface. And that is a pod dropping exciting uh, we're almost gonna get you don't worry okay so now i kind of want to see what the the flare looks like i haven't actually used it but let's do it at night let's not do it during the day <laughs> okay so hello my pod did i leave this on uh if not then if i would have died there would be no respawn oh look at that <laughs> i'm gonna turn it back on so we have a respawn point um right now the battery i didn't the antenna's off beacons off or detectors off let's turn the parachute hatch off and so we got three days of power so that we can extend that's easy with solar panel you can build a solar panel to the top of this and we can do that so let's quickly so now so now remember this is slowed uh so we're gonna need components like a lot of components wow any steel plate Construction components, steel tubes. Can we even make steel tubes? Interesting. Uh, what can we make in here? Yeah, shit. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, anyways, let's uh, repair up what I can, I guess. It basically undeforms these blocks. Large steel tubes. Shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Um, we might have to go for that that signal. I might have to burn some hydrogen. Um, dang it! And we need hydrogen to get to the station. Uh, so here's another wonderful 
choice we can make. Oh, great. Um, let's see here. I'm just kind of trying to think what this can charge you up. But the reason O2 doesn't go up because of that. Um, does this use O2 when you're in here? Uh, I'm going to say it does because it's just a seat. Which means we'll have to go back up to the station at some point. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do is repair it to, so we can... I, I imagine we're going to need to put in the tubes for it to even be um, accessible. Uh, I'm looking at the survival kit. This is... Four steel plates, three computers. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. So what am I going to do? I am going to dig some dirt up. Let's do that. Let's just dig it right here. I don't really care if there's a pit right beside the place. That's fine. Uh, and everything floats in a weird way. So we're going to... So the choice I kind of have now is... Um, so I can do one refill maybe two refills of, of of like the o2 i don't think there's any steel tubes to purchase um if someone did see that please let me know and i will pop up you back up to the base or the base the stations up there to pick it up um yeah let's just let's just dig down here for now we're gonna have to make a run back to the the station at some points to refill. Um, yeah, this should be okay. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. So, this is interesting. So, this is going to produce uh, this stuff. Scrap recycling. So, see, this is the scrap recycling. And we'll get components out of stuff. We can make ammo. <coughs> what does that take? Um, iron and nickel okay so we can still shoot stuff this is how we can make a hand drill i guess a grinder let's do that let's actually make a grinder uh, yeah let's prioritize the grinder uh you click and drag those I, oh is that supposed to prioritize it oh there we go so cool so we have our tools um let's see here the only problem is i don't have i would have to use hydrogen to get to that signal and I don't think that's quite what I should do. Okay, so here you go. So I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. It's a very good spot. Choices here. So choice number one would be, should we build a base or should we... I'm going to actually recharge myself. Okay, so it's choice time now, folks. What are we going to choose? So the first choice would be, do we repair, try and repair this thing? So do I get more resources out of the ground to repair this thing? And... With that in mind, I could probably do two trips maybe back to the station. Um, so if anyone has seen if there's like the steel tubes on there or the materials to repair this, I will do that. I just need those big steel tubes. Everything else I think I'm okay on, which means the next play could be that, that signal. So should I go for that signal or should we go and try and repair this by going out to the station? So they're both going to use hydrogen and that's what I'm stuck at. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this episode and this series. And yeah, I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.